Hi guys, welcome back for another video. And yes, I've changed because I am going to take Joseph out and I didn't want to ruin what I already had on just because we're going to be doing some running around and probably, I don't know, maybe we'll take him to the park. But I wanted to show you guys, I have a drugstore haul. This is basically my spring haul and it's just accumulative stuff. Y'all know I have like curated I am actually cur curating I'm doing a declutter right now but you know I have a one in one out rule so I'm actually decluttering more than I'm actually bringing in but I wanted to try out some products and show you guys some of the things that I got so I do have this bag here and we're gonna go through what I have in the spring haul so if you are interested and what I am hauling then keep watching okay so I do have a luxury haul coming of all of these beautiful I just filmed this video of all of these luxury items that I do plan on not only showing you guys but reviewing it probably went up before this video because this one is I have a, a little bit more in this one than the other one so I can probably edit that one a lot faster but let me show you what I got it's some things some random things and yeah, let's get into it. I already showed you guys this, but I did get this. This is the Body Shop Twin Ball Revitalizing Facial Massager. And so I got this kind of around the same time, but I want to do a demo showing you guys how I use this because um, I did do a vlog of a facial that I got at the Body Shop and trying some products. Some of them I have used for years, but I wanted to try some of their new products and they offered to do a facial so I let them do it but I actually picked this up very inexpensive and I got this instead of the J roller just because it's dual and it massages and does the same thing that the J roll roller does but this one actually massages and it's dual so it massages and really helps with drainage and puffiness and all of that so got that sephora bag inside that bag but from the sephora vip i picked up this is one of their lip glosses this is the outrageous plump effect in 06. i got this during the sephora vip sale and then the other items i got in the luxury haul that i'm going to show you guys um if you want to click on it like i said you can check it out there but this haul is random from other places i really didn't shop the sephora vip sale is because other places that I'm gonna show you had better sales than the Sephora VIB. Sephora VIB was only 15%. So I did use a gift card because I had it, but I wanna show you guys some of the things that I got. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is what I got from ColourPop. And that is the Perception Palette. That's the Shayla and ColourPop collab. I got that palette, definitely wanted to get this. Anything makeup Shayla, I have noticed that she's pretty much on point in terms of women of color and in terms of what our colors like, pigmentation, colors and stuff like that. And then I also got, ooh, that's the name of the lipstick, literally. So it's very beautiful, something that I definitely could wear. And that's the kind of place that I am in terms of when I want to try new things. It needs to be things that I myself have either tried before or I can see myself wearing. I don't want to be too daring when it comes to certain things. Um, but at the same time, I can get out the box. Um, this is the palette. If you have not seen a ton of YouTubers are doing looks on this. I felt like that this is totally universal. It's a palette that I would take with me traveling it has pops of colors as well as those neutrals in here so I'm really happy for her and I'm excited for me next thing I'm going to pull out I actually got this from pixie this is the liquid fairy lights this is in bare brilliance it reminded me a lot of the Stila liquid eyeshadows and this is a swatch of how that looks I've heard mixed reviews about these and I want to see what people think but such a pretty color and that's how it looks after I tap it out to me these are beautiful by itself or even toppers so I'm really excited about this 
and let that dry. Oh, I got another thing from ColourPop. I'm sorry. I got the shade Millionaire. My last one broke, but I love this shade. This is one of my favorite shades of the Super Shock Shadows. It is a gold with flecks of pink and bronze, and it's so beautiful. That's it right there. I didn't do a hard swatch, but it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful topper. Very, very beautiful. But that's Millionaire. Love it. I'll put this right in with my other Super Shock Shadows. Now, I got this from FabFitFun. Like I said, I think this brush was $9. This Tarte brush was $9, y'all. And it actually have it where you can actually scoop the product out. But it's like a flat top kabuki. And this reminds me a lot of the Hourglass one. So I did not get the Hourglass brush. But I do plan on using this with... I plan on using this with my Hourglass foundations or any other foundation for that fact so i'm gonna put it where the foundations belong i mean where the brushes belong i've used this before in about two or three years back this is the maracuja bronzing serum it is phenomenal mine went bad but that's because i wasn't using it as often this one actually gradually bronzes your face and it's a serum in one so you can use it day or night but i am loving this and it also has that maracuja oil, so it is in the place of a serum. And then I also got, this is in Park Avenue Princess. I got the Chrome Paint Shadow. <gasps> oh my God. I thought it was supposed to be like mashed down. Okay. We gonna roll with it. It's such a beautiful color. I have swatched and used that before, but that's how that looks. So beautiful. I also got the Timeless, the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Tati raves about this, and that's how that looks. It smells really good. So I'm excited about using this. I did pick up the Grow, Strengthen, and Maintain. This is the Liquid. It, it optimizes metabolism without caffeine. This is the liquid hair growth vitamin. So you know I already did Tati's. Now I'm gonna do this one. So I picked up, this is from Essie. This is their naturally clean polish and gel remover. So you can remove gel nail polish with this. Really excited about this. And um, this is a 16 ounce. So shouldn't be running out of that anytime soon. This is a Sunday Sweets. Bath and Body. These are mini like bath balms. I'm so excited about this because these are supposed to be sweet. This is bath bomb candy. So if you put it in your in your bath. I got the this is the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. I was trying to use the other one and the other one is really good when I am a little bit more paler in the winter months. But this is the deep shade. I can actually they actually came out with a bronzer dark enough for me to use. And this one tends to be a little bit more warmer, but I cannot wait to try this. I got another L'Oreal BB cream because I want something lightweight throughout the summer months. And this one does eight different things and blurs perfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, help protects with the SPF. And it has zero oil and any other heavy ingredients. And it says shake well, so I will. But really excited about this I got another matte shaker you know I already have one that's a peach but this one's more of a not nude brown and this one is in the shade sea sand and sun so that's another matte shaker that I have this is the Maybelline brow precise pencil and this is for your brows I wanted to try this one in comparison to the L'Oreal one because I love the L'Oreal one that one is really good but this is the maybelline one and it is in deep brown so i want to try this this is the total temptation i have another one of these because i have one already and this is in blackest black i have finally the brow precise fiber volume i've been wanting to get this because everybody's been talking about this and i love my plumper but i want to try that one also got something else from Lancome. This is a Absolute Rouge lipstick. 
and it's in the shade 214 and it's a very pretty like brown brownish pink I have a nail polish I got this like free with purchase and this is a nail color violet number 500 very pretty color I don't tend to wear colors like this so I'll probably put it in a giveaway because I don't tend to use colors like that but I wanted to show you guys what I got from the 21 days of beauty these two items and this is the Anastasia I did read up on my Anastasia brow is and I got them both in the shade wait I got one in dark brown and the other one in ebony and I also got the Estee Lauder double wear concealer I'm so excited about this I got it in the shade 3w I'll show you how it looks that's how that looks I am so excited about trying this so I'm definitely gonna come back and let you guys see what I am using what I'm trying and I just wanted to show you guys this in everyday May so thanks so much for watching I'll see you in the next video